Hey fellow tennis nerds, this is me playing with Fabio Fognini's actual racket specs. As you know, I like to experiment with my tennis rackets and I like to customize them so they play like my favorite pros. And now I thought it would be fun to play with Italian player Fabio Fognini's actual racket specs. It helps that I have owned a few of his personal rackets. But this one uh, was a Pure Drive original, which is the exact same racket mold he uses, but under various paint jobs, like a lot of other pros, as you know. And his racket, the way he specs it, is it's very heavy, very uh, head heavy compared to many other rackets on the market. So that's a lot to swing, obviously. The Pure Drive original, the first version of the iconic Bubble at Pure Drive, was released in 1997. Uh, the racket was mainly popularized by Carlos Moya, who endorsed the racket, but actually used uh, Bubble Up Soft Drive for a long time underneath the paint. Uh, and as you might know, I really like the Soft Drive. It's the same mold uh, as the Pure Drive, except for the addition of 20% fiberglass, which makes it a bit softer, so it has about three points lower stiffness rating. Both have the similar string pattern. It's a very open 1619, which helps you to hit with a lot of spin. Can be a difficult to control at times, but I think they've found the balance pretty well with this racket. But if you want to play with a Pure Drive Original in Fabio Fognini's specs, you need to customize it up to 339 grams. This is approximate. It's based from ProStockTennis.com that actually uh, owns one of his rackets as well, which is strong and customized to his preference. It has a balance of close to even balance. This one is 33.7 centimeters. So it's very heavy to swing. Most rackets are, as you might know, head light. And this is close to even balance. Carlos Moya even played it with quite a head heavy balance, which bumps up the swing weight to astronomical uh, figures. And it makes it almost impossible to swing for us mere mortals, at least for the duration of a tennis match. So it's a very hefty stick, it offers a lot of power uh, because of all this weight in the head, in the hoop. Uh, so he uses bubble out RPM blast at around 25 kilos, a bit depending on the circumstances. Quite high swing weight on this racket. I, I do play still with the soft drive from time to time and I, I like the pure drive original as well, although it's a bit stiffer. But my specs are usually around 334 grams and 32.6 centimeter balance. So a lot more head light, a few grams lighter than his specs. So this is truly a heavy racket to swing, especially since it's a 100 square inch racket as well, so it takes more effort to, to swing it through the air. And I did struggle in the beginning, it felt really sluggish for me. Uh, I had uh, problems with uh, my less than superior footwork, so I had to prepare correctly for every shot, I really had to focus, and um, that really can take you out of your game or your comfort zone. It took a, a while for me to get used to this. Uh, when I did, I, it played really nice and stable, but the power was an issue at times. I, I did overhit quite a bit more than I usually do, so I really had to work on handling this amount of swing weight. I did end up playing a bit better in the end and actually enjoying, uh, especially the stability that this kind of uh, specs provide. Uh, hitting volleys is, is quite nice. You have a, a big uh, surface to hit with a 100 square inch racket and with all the weight in the hoop you just need to put the, the racket on the ball and it will deliver it with good pace. So I did enjoy that quite a bit uh, but in the end it, it, for me to play in a tournament this would be too heavy to swing. I, I used it in two matches and two practice sessions and um, I did pretty well but I, would, I did much better when I, when I went down back to my original weight. Talking about the Pure Drive original, that's a frame I really enjoy still. Uh, I could put it in my bag at any time, but I have used it before. So this was not something completely new for me. It's a frame that's quite rare to find online if you're looking for it. It has a nice feel. And I think um, it's a shame that they don't do the pure drive with a bit lower RA stiffness rating still. I think they strayed a bit too far uh, with the stiffness, but that's my personal opinion. 
when you're talking and about Fabio Fognini, he is a very polarizing character. Some people really like him. He's very vocal on court and with his uh, body language. I really enjoy watching him play, especially short and uncomplicated backswings. I think that's really nice to see when you have players like Kachanov and Tiafo who hit the ball with a, a very loopy, weird swing on the forehand that really works well for them, but still it looks very complicated. So I think this is nice to see for Nini where he seems to be very natural when he times the ball. He doesn't take the swing back far, uh, short back swing still delivers a lot of pace on his shots and with good control as well. It's a joy to watch him play tennis. Uh, it's not as much of a joy to play with this heavy spec, but uh, it's, it's quite quite nice to try some pro players' specs at times. Uh, you do learn that uh, tennis is a very difficult sport, and playing with the exact frame of a professional tennis player is not always the best for a recreational player. Uh, so I think you have to find your own specs and not focus too much on trying to copy your favorite player and the way he hits the ball. Uh, or the way he specs his rackets. There are good things to take from their technique, of course. You can adjust towards some of their specs, but usually the swing weights are really high, around 360 for pro players, and uh, for most recreational players, even for advanced recreational players, I think it's uh, 320 to 340 is kind of the max, so where the, where the swing weight should be. I think that a lot of people can handle that. You still get some stability. So going upwards above the 350 mark in swing weight, it's going to take a lot of work to play. Uh, so you need to be a really advanced player then to enjoy it, in my opinion, of course. So enjoyable playtest. The Pure Drive Original still has a spot uh, on the tour. Uh, I think there might be a few, a few more players using that mold. I'm not sure. Bablot are quite good at kind of hiding their, their specs. And they all look pretty much the same, the racket, so it's not easy to spot. One way to spot if a pro stock is a pure drive original or some other mold is the Cortex technology that's above the racket handle that's supposed to limit vibrations. They, they removed it for the this year's or last year's edition of the pure drive and this year's edition of the pure arrow. But for a long time it was there and the idea was to limit vibrations. Kind of like silicone in the handle, but with the pro stocks that are not uh, with Cortex technology, you would see that it's just painted on, so it's a very obvious paint job. Uh, like with Fognini sticks that I used to own, uh, they were all painted Cortex, so it's not really there, because you will feel that it has kind of a plastic feel to it. Whatever pure drive you like, it's a very easy to use and quite intoxicating racket to play with. You get spin and power. It's very easy to overhit, and it is quite stiff in most versions. So you need to make sure you don't have any arm issues and you don't string with a too high tension and a stiff poly string. But this Pure Drive Original has around 64 RA um, strung, which I think is pretty nice and uh, quite easy to use and relatively arm friendly. My soft drive is obviously even a few points lower in stiffness rating thanks to the fiberglass. Enjoyable play tests. Feel free to customize and try your favorite player's specs but uh, don't think that it's going to be a miracle solution to your own tennis game. You need to find your own racket and spec, what works for you, and keep working on your tennis game. That's my advice at least, and um, I hope you enjoyed this short video about Fabio Fognini's actual racket specs, and I wish you a great day on the tennis court. Have a nice day, guys.